Dispatch's Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And a hot and humid start to the month of July. This is the view over top of Huntsville from the Thompson Roofing and Construction Sky Camera Network. We got our clouds building up here in the late afternoon heat, but not seeing much in the way of showers or storms right now over the city of Huntsville. It's 94 degrees in Huntsville. Look at the heat index, 98 degrees. A little uncomfortable out there as we start this holiday weekend. And of course, today is the 20th day at or above 90 degrees. That is the long 90, longest 90 degree streak since 2016. And on the seven day forecast right now, I've got all 90s. So we could add another seven days on that, if not longer than that. So a pretty impressive streak ongoing right now for North Alabama. There's a look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, kind of spotted with pop up showers and storms. Some of these are producing cloud of ground lightning, but again, these are very small, spotty little showers and storms kind of drifting to the north and northwest. You get a little burst of some heavy rainfall and then it moves off to your north and you're back to dry conditions. And again, we'll take whatever rainfall we can get. This is the latest U.S. drought monitor released earlier uh, this week, yesterday actually. And you'll notice that a lot of yellow on the map, even some of the tans indicating abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions. And we will have another chance for some pop up showers and storms for tomorrow. I go with about a 30% chance. So it's kind of similar to the last couple of days. You may see some rain or you may stay completely dry. It's still enough sunshine breaking through that we're going to make it back up to at least the low 90s for your Saturday afternoon. Of course, we have the mid 90s here this afternoon. Future radar 10 o'clock this evening. Any ongoing showers and storms, they're going to quickly start to dissipate and fall apart through the evening hours and into the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, we're back to mostly sunny skies, just some passing clouds. And then as we start to heat things up, you'll notice some pop up showers and storms. But again, just not a huge cover of showers and storms for your Saturday afternoon. So if you have some outdoor plans, no big issues. Just keep a close eye on the sky and the radar. Of course, download the Way 31 weather app so you can track any storms that do form. Heading into your Sunday afternoon, more of the same, but I still think we'll see a little bit more in the way of coverage for your Sunday afternoon because we're starting to see a little bit more moisture moving in from out of the south and southwest. Overall rainfall forecast heading through the next seven days, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. That hardly keeps up with average for this time of the year, so this is not enough to really put an end to any drought conditions here in North Alabama. You'll notice on the uh, radar right now, so you take a look at Louisiana, that little kind of circular area, that little spin, that is a tropical disturbance that moved ashore in Texas yesterday. That's kind of heading in our direction, so it's not a named tropical system. It's still going to bring quite a bit of tropical moisture in our direction over the next two to three days, and that should be enough to increase the shower and storm activity for your Sunday and possibly into your Monday. And of course, with highs still in the 90s, if not the mid 90s next week, with all that moisture still sitting overhead, look at the feels like temperatures, heat index values back above 100, if not close closer to 105, so still some dangerous heat to go through the next seven days. There's a look at your Sunday forecast again, highs and at least the low 90s all the way through Friday of next week. Of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on that important 4th of July forecast for your Monday, and we also have the trash pandas back in town next week, so we'll be keeping a close eye on Toyota Field every evening, especially Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.